Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday fun day. Let's show you the view while we let everyone come around. All right, all right. So I ride across this bridge. Every time I'm out riding in the Hamptons. And I figured I'd stop on the bridge and uh, show you what it looks like. It's like top of the world right here. It's what paradise looks like. So if you can see the distance, that's the ocean, that's Dune Road. All the way out down there is Oakland's where I hang out sometimes. All right. Good morning, Benny. Good morning, good morning. All right, all right. Sunday fun day. We are out in the Hamptons. We are doing our ride. We're doing the Sunday morning Hamptons ride. We got guys over here fishing. I don't know if you can see that. Catching some uh, lunch. So, uh, yeah, we're out here in the Hamptons. Uh, snuck out last night with uh, my son. Oh, yesterday afternoon. Uh, we had a doubleheader baseball game. And then... Uh, we packed that stuff up and shout out to the Hamptons, uh, hang out with uh, my family. Mom and dad are out here and uh, my uh, cousin Tiff and Brian and Susie and Ryan and all the kids and uh, my nephew Bradley, who's uh, my son Joey's number one fan. And uh, we said, let's sneak out. I got to be back for uh, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. open house in Valley Stream. So uh, right after the ride, we're going to uh, get back on the road and shoot home. But um, I figure let's go see everyone. And um, so we're out here in the Hamptons and it's Sunday morning. And uh, let's think about the message for today. One of the things uh, I think about is this bridge here. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see how high this bridge is, right? We're up here pretty high. It's a pretty good slope. All right. Bonquag Bridge, Hampton Bays. So when I first started doing this ride... Um, I almost had to get off my bike and walk because this bridge is, uh, bridge is pretty high. Um, I've been doing this ride at dawn now. Um, I've been doing it for a couple months, but I'm on, uh, I think we're 40, 41 days in a row. Um, I lost two days Memorial Day weekend. I was doing it long before then, but, uh, on my streak now, I'm 41 days. Uh, I'm trying to get 365 in a row, but, um. When I first started riding out here, when I did this bridge, I had to get off my bike and basically walk up the bridge because there was no way I was making it up. So I just rode up here now, and I didn't even downshift on the bike. Stayed in high gear and rode up the bridge and didn't even get winded. So on that basis, um, the stuff in our life that's hard, if we just tackle it every day and stay consistent, um, it gets easier. It gets easier, it becomes habit, um, our muscles, uh, get toned and get used to doing the work. Um, so that same thought, if uh, our brain gets tuned to doing the work, if we uh, follow the path and stay consistent, um, stuff gets easier, um, becomes habit. So when we look at certain things in our lives and we say, you know, you do it one time and that's hard and you give up, um, you got to keep pushing through. You got to keep going. This morning, that alarm went off. I did not feel like getting up. I'm going to be honest with you. Force of average was hitting me hard. Um, fell asleep on the couch last night with my son. Uh, we watched TV a little bit. Everyone's kind of sitting in the living room. And I uh, sat down. My son sat down next to me. And actually, we both fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> Woke up about 4 o'clock in the morning. And uh, went to bed to wake up two hours later. And uh, definitely wasn't feeling it this morning. But you know what? We got up and we're here and we stayed consistent. And this is what I get to see. I'm getting my workout in. And you get to see this. So if I let average get me, I would have broke my streak and I uh, wouldn't get to see this. But instead we, uh, we keep riding and the more we ride, the easier it gets. 
I do 20 miles now, like in my sleep. Um, I'm actually looking to uh, do more. Uh, I just need the time on the weekends to uh, commit to it. But um, the more you do stuff over and over and commit to it, whether it be exercise, whether it be um, learning, whether it be systems, processes, whatever we do in our lives, the more we stay consistent, the more we do it every day, uh, the easier it gets, the more it becomes habit. Um, so that's my thought for today. Uh, also part of that is don't get discouraged when stuff in your life um, you know, happens. Memorial Day weekend happened for me. I had a good, a lot of cars going by. Hold on, we got a little traffic jam going here. It's a Memorial Day weekend when uh, the force of average got me. And for two days I broke my streak and didn't ride. I could have said, you know what, I'm not doing this anymore. But I got up and I uh, started the day after Memorial Day and we've been riding ever since. So um, when you mess up, when you, you lose your path, when it gets hard, don't give up. Um, this weekend I'm home alone with my son. The girls are in uh, Dutch Wonderland. Friday night I wanted to hang out with my son and he wanted to hang out with grandpa. And it was kind of upsetting to me and I was kind of like, but I'm here, we're alone, let's hang out. And um, kind of wanted, you know, wanted to spend time with my son and he wanted to hang out with grandpa. So I was kind of a little discouraged, I was kind of a little upset. But um, when I said, Joey, what's going on? He goes, Daddy, I get to hang out with you all day tomorrow. Um, I want to hang out with grandpa tonight. I said, okay. So we did our game and uh, you know, had fun all day, uh, came out here rode quads, went to the pool, hung out, and he fell asleep on me last night on the couch. And uh, you know what? I was like, if I would have been discouraged and said, you know what? I'm, I'm not taking you out tonight. You can go hang out with Grandpa, because he was actually originally talking about staying at Grandpa's both nights. Um, I guess because they spoil him rotten, you know? Um, but he decided to stay with me, and uh, we had a blast, and I'm, I'm glad we did. And uh, he uh, he's actually still back home sleeping while I'm out here riding. And, um, you know, stay, stay in the game. Um, when stuff happens, don't, don't throw it away. Don't trash it. Just, just keep going. Pick it up. Pick up the ball and run. You know, someone drops the ball, you drop the ball, pick it up and run. There's still a, still a goal to accomplish. Still a goal to accomplish every day. So believe that you can do it. Stay in faith and uh, get stuff done. So that said, let's jump in our prayers. All right. So, I think for this, huh? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom will come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, please look over all my friends and family um, this weekend, this week. Um, please help everyone uh, stay within the goals. Please help everyone stay focused. Please help everyone stay happy. Please help everyone stay grateful. Um, please help everyone live their lives, break the force of average. And... Um, Follow your dreams, accomplish your goals. So, all right, everyone, happy, happy Sunday, fun day. Get out there and uh, enjoy this beautiful day. Beautiful day coming out, the boats are out. Oh, look, we're kayaking over here. Kayaking over here. Benny wants to be in my video. All right, we're gonna get Benny on. Let's see if uh, we can hear. Benny wants to be in my video. Let's see if Benny. what is up <clears throat> good morning brian how are you good morning how are you sir i'm well i'm well thank you so when you say paradise <laughs> there's nothing like paradise here man this is this is paradise this is paradise no, i don't know look at this I don't know. This is paradise, Brian. You're overlooking. Look, the, the lighthouse is all the way down there. I'm standing by the Cancun sign. It's the best spot to get uh, 
to get Wi-Fi and, and to get a good, a good signal. So, um, so sitting here listening to your message uh, just gave me goosebumps. Um, you know, we, we talk on a daily or every other day. And, and I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of that message. I'm proud of what just happened. And I'm proud of the fact that your son wants to spend time with you, uh, with, with grandpa, but in the end, he fell asleep in your arms. And, you know, this whole trip was based on my family, based on giving back to my family and spending, spending the time with my two kids. I had a great time with them yesterday, jet skiing, um, we've done so much stuff together that we haven't done in a really long time. So with that being said, you know, that message just really gave me goosebumps. So that, that, that was, that was awesome. Um, and you're working every day, you're doing it, you're getting out there, um, where most don't, but can, and it's the same thing every day. It's repetitive. Um, Get it done. Get your stuff done early in the morning so this way you could sit there and spend the time with your family. That is the most important thing in life. Um, we don't have that much time on a, day, uh, on a daily to spend that time with our family. So when we do, we cherish it and we, we make memories with it. So this is my last day here, my last full day in Mexico before getting back to New York. So it's, I love it, man. I love what you're doing. I appreciate it. I appreciate you and all, all the people that we surround ourselves with, all the great people over in Apex, watching them, listening to them every day makes us who we are to be the best for us and for our families. We're all in this together, brother. We're all in this together. 100%, man, 100%. Uh, I was trying to see the sunrise, but it's a cloudy day today. Uh, there it is. Yep. <laughs> uh, I didn't hear you. We're losing our volume again. Yeah. No, no, I got you right there. You got me right there. So you don't got to go to Mexico to go to paradise. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> This is just my little paradise today. Uh, well, this whole week, this whole week. But as you know, t Sundays, right, Sundays are Sundays are work day, so we got to get to work right now, and then later on we'll enjoy the rest of uh, rest of the day. Thanks for having me on, bro. Representing Benjamin Moore today. Represent uh, Carhartt. There you go. There you go. Two solid, two solid companies. We're representing the uh, the Brian Lewis team today. He's doing uh, two open houses. Well, you know, you know who I'm. You know who else I'm representing, right? Oh, Lions not cheap. <laughs> Good old Sean Whalen. Yeah. You've been following him lately. He's got some great stuff going out there. So he just. Uh, yeah. I think he just adopted a, a child, so which which is awesome. So he's got a great message out there. Great, yep, great yep. Way. So enjoy your enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy that time with your your son and your family, and I will be back soon. <laughs> all right, all right. Not that, oh, not that I want to not that I want to come back, but I you know reality has to set in. You're coming back and flying out Texas. Oh yeah, check, check your check uh, check your um your text message I sent you yesterday. We need to know about August. All right, sounds good. All right, man. Have a great day. Enjoy. Thanks for having me on. Take care. All right, anytime. All right, bye. All right, it's nice to get friends on in the morning. Benny's over in Mexico checking in with us. He thinks he's got paradise. I think uh, we got him beat here on Long Island. A home turf. So, uh, all right, that said, we're going to keep on with our ride. And uh, we're going to enjoy our Sunday fun day. Uh, I'll be at the open house in Valley Stream, uh, 11 to 1 with Dawn. And uh, that is a 579, four-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath house. Freshly painted, fresh hardwood floors, dead-end block, low taxes. School District 13, Valley Stream, 
uh, come check it out. I already actually got an offer on it from yesterday. So uh, I think it's going to go quick. Uh, so um, that's where we'll be. Come say hello. And uh, enjoy your Sunday fun day. Make every minute count. Stay consistent. Stay on message. Meet your goals. All right, everyone. Be well.